Uh, well, I thought our guys executed a lot of things tonight really well. And, uh, you know, Belleville West is hard to play against. And they, uh, they did a good job with their pressure as the game wore on of pressuring us and make it hard on us and not giving us open looks. Early in the game, we did a good job of taking care of the ball, and then when they came and trapped us, we, we had people wide open. But as the game went on, they got better at that. They made it harder on us. So I think you got to give them a lot of credit, uh, first of all, for, uh, for the way they played. And uh, we just didn't get as many open shots as the game went on. Well, uh, first of all, I thought my guys uh, executed great. I thought we really did a good job of defensively of what we practiced. And, uh, you know, they're hard to guard because they had a lot of guys make shots. But, but I really do think my guys did a great job of, of giving them the shots we wanted to give them uh, most of the game. I thought we executed a lot of things great on offense against a big, rangy, well-coached team. Uh, and I thought they, they, they did a they, their pressure was good. We did a good job against their pressure early and like in earlier, like I looked to earlier. We got a lot of open looks early in the game when they trapped us. But as the game wore on, they did a better job of being able to pressure and then not give us wide open shots. So I just think I think you got to give them a lot of credit for uh, their, the way they played. Their, their uh, you know, when you're playing against the late game, uh, that's hard to do. You got to try hard, and you also got to have discipline. And I think you got to give them a lot of credit as the game went on. They really got good at that. They obviously got a lot of depth, too. They got a lot of guys that come in. Four guys in double figures. They just got a lot of bigness in their place. Yeah. They got a lot of Well, uh, like I said, I thought defensively we did a lot of things really well. They're a hard team to rebound against. I mean, they got a lot of guys that can go get it, and they try hard to go get it. And I think my guys, uh, I think my guys battled hard tonight. And, and again, uh, we get a couple of, in the second quarter, we had a couple open looks we didn't get in. And then we got some fouls, and then that ended up, they totally got, got, got ahead of us in the second quarter. At the outset, Mike, had to go exactly like, like you wanted to, like you were talking about the athleticism. Like, it's a team like West, that lead is, looks big, but it can shrivel away in a hurry because of the way they can score the ball. Well, you know, uh, Belleville West has got good players, but they do a really good job of using those guys. Yeah. They put you in bad positions all the time, and what I mean by that is, when you, when you take something away, they've got something else open, and they put their players in such good positions that they put you in binds all the yeah. time. You double the post, you give this up, and so on. And they're, they're, they're they got athletes, but they're extremely well coached. And a team that's got athletes, is prepared, and is well coached, they're, that, that's a hard team to beat. And I thought my guys actually, I thought we did a great job tonight. And the fouls were a factor too, really. RJ was having Sorry. three earlier. Caleb had three fairly early. Yes. I mean, uh, you had to dig into your depth a little bit, probably more than you wanted to tonight. Well, uh, you know, uh, they they uh, they just put you in positions where it's hard sometimes to keep from fouling them. And, uh, you know, that, that that was a factor in the game. Yeah. But uh, that's why you have practice and everybody ready to go. Well, Jack Marinko has got the heart of a lion. That guy tries so hard every day. It's, he's ran, he sprinted countless miles this year in practice and in games using all these streets. So Jack marinko has got skill, he's smart, he's got the heart, and he's got a motor. But I think probably the best thing he has is that he's a great teammate, and the guys love him. And that's why Strohmeyer and R.J. Wilson have set 10,000 screens this year. And you can see him standing there, and you can see Jack coming, and you can see Strohmeyer and R.J.'s body just shiver from getting drilled so Jack can get over. And that has happened 10,000 times this year in practice in a game. So good for Strohmeyer and RJ to stand in there and know you're gonna get drilled and take it. And good for Jack, they love Jack. They want, they love Jack, and good for him. There's a reason why they love him, that's what a great teammate he is. So I think it's a combination of those things.
Hey Mike, the, the season's over. Do you have any comment now on what you want to do in the future coaching-wise? Um, well, uh, I don't think right now, if you don't mind, I really don't think right now is the time to talk about that.